Good morning, this is Kelloland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. A Brandon man will spend more than nine years in prison after he drove drunk and killed a motorcyclist in July 2023. 38-year-old Anthony Cerdez was arrested and charged with a hit-and-run vehicular homicide and drunk driving. He pled guilty to vehicular homicide and was sentenced to 10 years in prison. Rapid City Police are asking people to avoid an area in the northern part of town. Authorities say a vehicle crashed in an apartment building in the 400 block of Philadelphia Street earlier this morning. As of last report, multiple nearby buildings are being evacuated because of a gas leak caused by the crash. Police say Haynes Avenue is closed from New York Street to North Street. Sioux Falls police are looking for a driver following a fiery crash on the east side of the city. Investigators say the driver of a pickup crashed into another pickup on East 26th Street Tuesday morning, not far from Bonson Avenue. The driver then got out of the vehicle and ran. One of the pickups started on fire, causing significant damage. The hit and run driver is described as a white man in his 50s or 60s. Police say the other driver had minor injuries. If you have any information on the crash, call police. An investigation is underway into the death of a person found in eastern Sioux Falls. Police were called to the area of 10th Street and Sycamore Avenue just before 5 yesterday afternoon. They found a body in the tall weeds northeast of the drainage ditch. At this time, there's no signs of foul play. Now let's get a check of our weather with meteorologist Scott Munt. Good morning, Scott. Staying warm today? Oh, yes, it is. You know, central, eastern, southeastern Kettleland temperatures in the 60s to near 70 degrees today. We will have to watch for developing showers, maybe an isolated thunder shower. That's later this afternoon into the evening hours, and some of that may hold for the early part of tonight. Western South Dakota, well, that's a different story. It will be cooler, highs in the 50s. And the winds will be stronger, too, from the northwest. Rapid City at 30 to 55 miles per hour. More details on your Kettleland Live Doppler forecast with Brian coming up. Thank you, Scott. A Sioux Falls man will spend the next three years on probation for lying when he bought a gun, saying it was for himself but was actually for another person. It's commonly known as a straw purchase. 38-year-old Andrew Robert Gordon was sentenced last month in federal court. He previously pled guilty to the 2022 crime where he agreed to buy a firearm for 23-year-old DeAndre Arnell Burnett. Burnett is a convicted felon and not allowed to have a gun. He was sentenced last year to more than three years in federal prison. Results are in and Miranda Basie is the new Northeast District City Council member for Sioux Falls. However, the at-large position will have a runoff between Richard Thomason and Jordan Deffenbaugh due to none of the three candidates getting over 50% of the votes. Meanwhile, Basie is excited for her time on the city council. I'm most excited to just dig in and learn. I know that there are a ton of things, a ton of information that crosses any one person's desk, let alone your city councilors. And so I know that there's a lot I don't know yet. And I won't ever claim to know it all, but I'm really, really, really excited to have the space, the capacity, the time to just really dive deep. The runoff election will take place on April 30th. More than 18,000 votes were cast in the Sioux Falls School Board election on Tuesday. Incumbent Mark Mirren and Gail Swenson will fill the two seats. For me, it's fun. I don't know how to explain it to you. I just like it. I mean, it's fun. I, I get to work with things that affect kids. And that's kind of where I want to be. When you look at opening up a new elementary school, when you look at Whittier Middle School, uh, replacements. All those plans are looking exciting. We just got wonderful things happening in our district. So I'm very excited to be a part of that. Both Mirren and Swenson received just shy of 5,000 votes. And that's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Carstens. Brian? All right, as we go to weather here today, well, a couple things here. The wind is picking up in western South Dakota. That will be a story this afternoon, 30 to 55 miles per hour in Rapid City. 
As this cooler weather comes in from the west northwest, we're going to start to spark a few showers eastern and northeastern Kettleland. And uh, we'll show you a map on that in just a second. This is a carryover into the wind forecast tomorrow. You notice your wind gusts are pretty strong around Sioux Falls, at least up close to 40 miles per hour. And don't forget to the west of Sioux Falls, there is a fire weather watch in effect for your day on Thursday. That runs through Mobridge, Pier, Chamberlain, down to Yankton, kind of radiates out there. Doesn't include Sioux Falls, but it's pretty close. And then the winds will turn around to the south as we head toward the kickoff of the weekend. And then that's gonna bring in this big push of warmer air, which we're gonna talk about too. Here's a look at Futurecast. And again, those numbers this morning in Sioux Falls in the 40s. We're gonna get to the mid 60s, probably by early afternoon. We'll shoot for a high near 70 in Sioux Falls. Low to mid-60s around Aberdeen, but watch on radar. These little showers, now some of these may not hit the ground. You're going to notice these little dark pouches of moisture underneath some of these clouds. Those are little areas of verga or moisture that's basically raindrops trying to evaporate before they hit the ground. But I can't rule out a lightning strike or two. You know, this gives us kind of a flavor of that on future casts through 6 o'clock. Any one of those, uh, by the way, could be candidates, the strongest of the bunch, for a brief wind gust of 50 miles per hour. So, you know, there is a little weather attendant to that uh, later today. So just kind of keep an eye on that on your Storm Tracker app. That's my best advice on that. And whatever does flare up on radar, a lot of it will be moving southeast. So if you see a dark cloud to your northwest, that would be your key here later today. Overnight tonight, still some scattered showers or sprinkles in the east. We'll have that wind increasing and spreading eastward. And then, of course, tomorrow, that'll cut our high back in the upper 50s in Sioux Falls. But eh, it'll feel cooler once you, you acknowledge all the wind that's there. But the weekend, well, we're going to make up for that. And we're going to give you a bonus two days of upper 70s and low 80s on Saturday and Sunday. Even Friday doesn't look too bad. So really nice spring weather is just around the corner. Let's wrap it up. Your high today, 70 Sioux Falls. Again, those little spots on radar that will flare up this afternoon. And then our seven day forecast. We'll watch that system coming in early next week. Monday into Tuesday, there is a good setup for some rain chances. There could be some thunderstorms. It really all depends on the track of that low coming out of Colorado. And we still have plenty of time to watch the development of that, so stay tuned. But ahead of that, we're going to drop a lot of warm air. We're going to see these 70s in Aberdeen Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Uh, but I will warn you, the weather flipping uh, middle of next week, and we could go sharply colder weather uh, beyond day seven. So there's a lot there in mid-April. We just watch these temperatures go back and forth. That's pretty typical. Pierre, same thing. We're going to run up there. The thermostat close to 80 by uh, Saturday. I would say low to mid-80s could easily develop south of Pierre on Saturday. Sunday, not too far off of that. And then Monday, Tuesday, that's when radar will start to pick up some traction. We'll see if we end up with some rain in the Black Hills this time versus snow. I know that's a big consideration. Find out more details online at kettleland.com.